I'm getting a bite here. Real cold water. It's going to be subtle bites. That's what I'm seeing here. Yep. I think there's a fish on there. Let's get him. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Fish on. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish for sure. Let's go down and get him. Welcome to another fishing adventure, folks. It's 2024, April 8th. It's not my first time fishing, but this is my first fish on the line of the season. First time I went fishing. I didn't catch any fish, but I caught a walleye boat and that didn't go very well, but enough about that. I think I got a big catfish on the line here. I'm hoping to get some eaters today, but I love these trophy channel cats when I can get them. I was here a few days ago and the water temp was 45. I didn't measure it today, but it feels about the same. Maybe I'll measure it after I'm done here with this fish. I think this is a real good fish because the water being as cold as it is, they don't fight all that hard when it's this cold. For something to have enough energy to pull drag like that in this cold water, it's got to be big. It's coming up. Oh, yeah. Yep. There he is. Yeah, that's a big channel cat. Oh, no, 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 no. He's in the rocks. I didn't want that. Get back out there. Okay, got him. Yeah, yeah starting out the year with a trophy channel cat. Sweet. <clears throat> Hooked right in the bottom lip. That's a four-aught octopus hook there. I'll just leave them in the net to get a weight here. Subtract about a pound. About a 14 pound fish in the net. That's a 14 pound fish in the net. So we'll call it a 12 or 13 pound channel cat. Gray, gray, gray channel cat. Most likely a male. Beauty of a fish, too, too big to keep. I don't keep fish any bigger than, uh, I don't know, about eight pounds or so these days is about my limit, but <clears throat> awesome. It's about noon. It's about 11.45, I've been here for about an hour and a half and uh, uh, as you can see it's cloudy it's an eclipse happening later today we'll see how that goes I don't know it's cloudy so back in the water this fish goes head in the water just hold on to him for a second here until it starts kicking a little bit it's really cold he should be good see you next time yeah so here's the rig I'm using here it's just a uh, a sinker slide, I got a five ounce sinker on there just so I can cast out pretty good distance down to a swivel and then about a one foot long leader and just that four aught uh, octopus hook. I like this size hook for channel cat fishing. It's small enough to where the little fish can get it in their mouth, uh, it's, but it's still big enough that I can catch a 20 pound channel cat on this thing, no problem. Oh, all right, another bite. Yep, fish on again. Fish on again. This one feels like a smaller fish. I was just getting that other one baited up and getting a little bit of fast action here. This feels like an eater. Ideally, that's what it would be today is both. I get eaters and trophies. Yep, yep, yep. Getcha. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just a little four, four pound little female channel cat. It's going on the stringer, catfish dinner. All right, so I was about to show you the bait here. The bait I'm using today is gizzard shad from the freezer from last fall. Caught this shad here at the same lake last fall. Made sure I had a bunch of uh, good bait to use in the spring. Because they can be kind of hard to find sometimes in the spring. And these are little fish. And all I'm doing is I'm cutting them in half. Just like that. 
and then I just put both chunks on the hook just like that and I'm gonna trim that tail off because that uh, provides wind resistance when I'm casting it out so just two little chunks of uh, shad there gizzard shad I'm casting about uh, 30 40 yards out in about seven six seven feet of water out there Fishing near deep water is what the plan is for today. I'm fishing near deep water, not in deep water. Like I said, I'm in about six or seven feet and maybe about 50 yards from where I'm at is some of the deepest water in the lake. And uh, so I'm fishing near deep water because I think that's where they're going at night and then they go out in the shallower stuff in the day to look for some, some food. A cloudy day like this is a good day for that. At least that's the theory I'm working with today seems to be, do, be producing a couple fish at least. And I'll just go ahead and reel in this third one here and see what's up because probably a good chance this bait got stolen while I was catching those other two fish. No, still got the bait. At least part of it anyway. Okay. I'll freshen it up. It's been a weird, weird winter, weird February. We had a warm February. We had like ice off in mid-February. I've never seen that before. And we had water temps in, in the upper 40s in February and then it went back down. Uh, and then the lake froze over again. And it's just been a weird, weird spring. And I guess my thermometer is low on battery, I think. Eh. Maybe if I take the battery out and put it back in, I can get at least one more reading out of it. Sometimes that works. Stuff. Nope. I guess we're not getting a water temp today. I'm saying it's still in the mid-40s, just by the way it feels on my hands. Looked up and this line is slack. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Subtle, subtle biting. Yep. That fish didn't even pull hard enough to, to make the bell even jingle a little bit. So subtle. Probably quit looking at my phone, just start watching my lines if the bite's picking up. This feels like a good fish. It's got some good weight. Uh, it's hard to tell in this cold water. It could be a five pounder or a 20 pounder. I don't know for sure. I feel his tail banging on the line as he's trying to swim away from me. Oh yeah, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. That's not an eater. And get down in those rocks. Gotta keep them in the top of the water. Okay. Yeah, that's another big fish. Well, because I didn't see that bite right away, this fish has got the hook down in there. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's down in there, though. Dang it. Yeah, it's not working out very good. I can't get my pliers down far enough to get a good hold on the hook and I don't think this fish's mouth is big enough for me to get my hand down in there. Open up. I can get two fingers on the hook. Not enough grip to be able to turn it and pull it the way it needs to be pulled. That hook's getting cut. Yeah, I'm cutting the line on this one. It'll be all right. That hook will uh, work itself loose here in a, in a few days, probably. I don't know if you saw it in the camera behind me, but my other rod's going off. I got another fish on that other rod. I'm not gonna weigh this fish. I'm guessing 10, 12 pounds. Another nice male channel cat. Too big to keep, it's going back. And I definitely got a fish on that middle rod. 
better to just cut the hook or cut the line and rather than uh, tear his guts up trying to get it out better chance that way all right all right definitely got a contender here mm -hmm. this feels like more like an eater third one's going off too. <laughs> the third one's going off too. The noon bell rang and the catfish decided to come out and go for a feed. This feels like a, a smaller fish and I'm kind of horsing him in here because I want to try and get to that other line before he Finds a way to get himself wrapped up in something. Alright, he's right here. That's a good. Yes, that's an eater. Alright, this fish is getting dropped off right here in front of the camera. I'm going to unhook him in a minute. I need this net. Love this cold water spring cat fishing. See, there's a lot of rocks along the shoreline. These rocks go out quite a ways. This is most, the most dangerous uh, part of the, is right here. They can swim down and get in those rocks. Yeah, that's another eater-sized catfish there. Yeah. yeah, this is what I'm talking about. These are about identical fish, five, six pounds a piece. Great eater fish. I got no baits in the water. Uh, I'm going to fix that first. They'll just rest here for a minute and I'll put them on the stringer in a second. The limit is eight out of this lake and uh, I don't think I'll keep eight fish, but a couple more I could use for sure. There's one thing I know for sure is that I'm not going to catch any fish if I don't have any baits out. Every fish I've ever caught has been on a bait. So, uh, I'm gonna do that first before I mess around with the stringer. I can at least get two baits out anyway. That third one I need to retie because I had to cut it. But uh... all right, there's my three stringer fish. situations exactly like this where I needed to cut my line or for whatever reason I need to retie this is exactly where I keep these rigs pre-tied and just in my tackle box I can just grab one and get back to fishing instead of spending a few extra minutes tying a new rig just a snelled hook onto a swivel that leader I just just need to tie that swivel onto my main line just tie one knot and then I'm back to fishing Another one. Yep. He's on. Haven't got that third one back in the water yet. The one I just retied. Water's pretty dirty for for as early as in spring as it is. It must be uh, turning over, I imagine. Got a nice fish. Yep. Every single one of these fish. Wow. Oh, look at that catch. <laughs> Every single one of these fish, including that big one, subtle, subtle, subtle bites. Didn't even ring the bells uh, on my rods there. This one's going on the stringer too. It's a five, six pound fish. Sweet. Here's what the stringer's looking like these days. Four nice ones. I think one more and I might call it a day as far as keeping fish goes. I don't want to get too greedy. So it's one o'clock right now. I just got all three baits uh, out in the water. And they're sitting there. According to what I've seen on the NASA website, the 
the, the, the main part of the solar eclipse for where I'm at here in northern Iowa is going to be between like 1.30 and 2.30, the, the darkest part. We're not anywhere near the, um, the, the main uh, path of totality, but there's, I think we're getting 74% or something like that coverage, it said, uh, which I don't know how noticeable that's going to be or not. I'm planning on staying here at least until the end of that just to see what happens. I don't know. I've experienced solar eclipses before of the similar uh, coverage like that 70 something and I don't know it's kind of it's the light kind of changes and things look a little weird it doesn't get dark or anything like that but I don't remember what percentage it was last time I experienced that um, we'll see what, what happens today I'm, I'm really curious to see if the bite is going to continue and if that changes at all uh, during that part of the eclipse interesting stuff happening today I mean, I forgot to mention, it is like cloudy, completely cloudy. We're not going to see the sun at all. So really all I'm hoping to see is, uh, you know, it should just get dimmer out here. Let's see what happens. There we go. That's a jingler. That's a jingler. Yep. Been about 10 minutes since I got these baits in the water. That was probably the most aggressive bite that I've seen so far today. And it wasn't very aggressive at that. I suppose since I've been sitting here for 10 minutes being all quiet, now all of a sudden I'll get runs on all three of my rods. Turn back into chaos again, huh? I'll take it. This feels like a uh, an eater fish. Yep. Gotcha. Number five for the stringer. Yeah, number five for the stringer. Nice four or five pound fish. I'm gonna just do a little self-imposed limit here of five instead of the, the the law of eight. These are good sized fish. I could see keeping eight fish if they were all, uh, you know, two, three pound fish, little fish, you know, but these are all pretty good sized fish. That's a lot of meat. I'm gonna stop at five. I'm gonna keep fishing though, but I'm just gonna stop keeping fish. again yes I haven't even got that other one rebaited yet this feels like a better fish last year I caught my personal best channel cat about this time of year that was 19 pounds 15 ounces just one ounce short of 20 pounds that would be sweet if I could break that this year I don't know if this is it it's hard to tell like I said hard to tell in this cold water yeah, there he is. There he is. Nice. That's a nice fish. Yeah, nice fish. Female channel cat. Oh, I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one. This would be a keeper normally, but like I said, five's the limit today. All right. Off you go. See you later. Catch you next time. Yeah, there's definitely a fish on that other one. Or at least there was a bite. The line is slack. Let's reel up and see. Well, this one's nothing there. Nothing there on this one. Okay. Yeah, the bait is uh, mostly gone. Something was munching on it. I've been so busy fishing, I have really haven't had a chance to look at my phone, see what time it is. I wonder if it's eclipse time. Yeah, it's exactly 1.30. So, should be, uh, for the next hour, supposed to be uh, when the, the maximum dimness is around here. There's some little gap in the clouds, and right now it's brighter than it's been all day. <laughs> Very weird how just at the exact moment when it's supposed to be eclipsed here, the clouds open up and the sun starts sh shining. It's bizarre. Bite. Look at that subtle bite right there. Look at that. Not even making my bells jingle. Pick up on it. 
Yep, he's on there. He's on there. Just barely pulling. I'm gonna tighten up on him and hook him. Rah, he's hooked. It is. I was just pulling my phone out to see what time it is. I think it's almost two o'clock, which is like right in the prime, like when it's supposed to be its darkest. It's only 74%, but that's that's right in the middle of the eclipse. And uh, I'm reeling in a fish. Ooh. Ooh, that was a good tug there. This might be a good fish. Yeah, I think the sunlight that is coming through does look a little strange. From what I've read, it's it's the shadows that look weird during an eclipse. That's why you think things look strange. Look at these rocks here. I don't know. The camera probably doesn't uh, doesn't pick it up. I'm noticing a little bit of something. I don't think the fish care. Yeah, it's a big one. There you go. Yeah, eclipse catfish. It's about two o'clock. Supposed to be the, the maximum uh, darkness that I'm going to experience here at this location. I don't know uh, how much this fish, fish weighs. Let me take a guess here. He's got a mark on, uh, on his top of his head there. See that? Old scar. Old scar. Probably an old spawning scar. But uh, definitely a male channel cat, just because of the gray color. Females are kind of yellowish, greenish uh, most, most of the time. A lot of people confuse these for blue catfish, uh, especially in the spring, because they do kind of get a, a bit of a bluish uh, hue to them uh, during spawning time. They're not spawning yet. They get more blue than this. But I'm going to say this fish is... Eight and a half or nine pounds. Let's put the scale on and see how good my eyeballs are. Zero. Eight pounds, ten ounces. Eight pounds, fifteen, nine pounds. Eight pounds, it doesn't know. It's between eight and nine pounds, huh? Yeah, eclipse catfish. Back in the water he goes. Yeah, I, I can notice uh, just a little bit. The light looks weird. It's kind of got a bluishness to it. Bluishness. I don't know if that's a word, but I just said it. And, uh, yeah. Look, eclipses are cool. This guy's ready. You're ready. See ya. Get bigger. Yeah, I am still uh, catching fish during the eclipse, although it has slowed. Uh, it's been about a half an hour, you know, since I had the, that hot bite. That hot bite turned off, uh, and then a half hour went by with nothing, and I uh, just caught that fish there. What I would really like is to uh, catch a new PB uh, catfish during the eclipse. 20 pounds would do it. Well, here's my stringer. Five nice ones. I got some fish to clean. <laughs> uh, do catfish bite during an eclipse? Uh, yes. Yes, they do. At least when it's cloudy, anyway. <laughs> if it's sunny, who knows? But that's the weather I was dealt with today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to see me cook these fish, head over to my uh, cooking channel. I'm going to post that video over there. But again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Mm -hmm.